We breathe out carbon dioxide molecules, but plants breathe them in. Plants also pull water molecules up from the soil. Plus you may have noticed that plants need sunlight in order to survive. Sunlight is a form of energy. So what do plants do with this combination of carbon dioxide, water and energy? With the help of the energy, they reassemble the molecules into a new molecule called glucose. Hang on, we've just met glucose in our respiration reaction. But instead of burning it as a reactant, plants make it as a product. Not only that, whereas we breathe in oxygen, plants breathe out oxygen. So oxygen is another product of this reaction. The chemical reaction that uses sunlight to enable plants turn carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen is called photosynthesis. It's the exact opposite of respiration. Let's do our steps to balance the photosynthesis equation. Step 1. Write the reactant and product names. Remember, the carbon dioxide was breathed in from the air. Water was taken from the soil, so they're reactants. Glucose and oxygen were made, so they're products. The word breathed is a bit misleading here because plants don't have lungs. Instead, the carbon dioxide and oxygen molecules passively enter and exit through the plant leaves through little holes called stomata, which are the plant equivalent of noses. Step 2. Convert those names into formulas. Carbon dioxide is CO2. Water is H2O. Glucose is C6H12O6. And oxygen is O2. Step 3. We'll start with carbon, and you can pause the video now if you want to try it yourself first. There is only one carbon atom on the left hand side but six on the right-hand side. Put a six in front of the CO2. Carbon is balanced. Step four. There are two hydrogen atoms on the left-hand side and 12 on the right-hand side. Put a six in front of the H2O, making 12 hydrogen atoms on the left-hand side as well. Hydrogen is now balanced. Step 5. On the left-hand side, there are 12 oxygen atoms inside the 6 carbon dioxide molecules and 6 oxygen atoms inside the 6 water molecules, a total of 18. On the right-hand side, there are 6 oxygen atoms inside the glucose molecule, so we need another 12 oxygen atoms on the right-hand side. We can do this by putting a 6 in front of the O2 molecules. Now we have 18 oxygen atoms on the right-hand side as well, and the equation is now balanced. You can see that this photosynthesis equation is the same as the respiration equation, but written in reverse. Photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide and water to build glucose and release oxygen. Respiration burns glucose with oxygen to release carbon dioxide and water. Photosynthesis makes what respiration uses. And respiration makes what photosynthesis uses. Neat. What about the energy part? We know that the energy is written on the right-hand side of the respiration equation, so it makes sense that it should be written on the left-hand side of the photosynthesis equation. This energy is the sunlight that plants absorb to make glucose and oxygen, which means that photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction. Glucose then has this energy stored in its bonds. When we eat glucose, its bonds break, new bonds are formed, and the energy is released inside our bodies. This means that respiration is exothermic.
So photosynthesis and respiration are just roundabout ways of taking the energy from sunlight and putting it in our bodies to make them work. Pretty cheeky, really. Another way to see that photosynthesis and respiration go hand in hand is to show the two reactions using their structural formulas. Respiration starts with glucose and oxygen and produces carbon dioxide and water. In contrast, photosynthesis starts with carbon dioxide and water and produces glucose and oxygen. It's worth pointing out that we need plants more than they need us. Photosynthesis is the goose that lays the golden egg in producing glucose and oxygen, both of which we animals need to survive. But plants can get their carbon dioxide without us, from forest fires, volcanoes, weathering of rocks, and even their own respiration. We should respect plants, and even protect them,